Okay, so it's very helpful to sometimes share pictures of what we find in a horse's mouth. A lot of times colleagues might send each other radiographs for a second opinion uh, or a consult, but the, the oral exam findings, as we've showed in a lot of videos, is really, really important. In fact, I would say in the majority of cases, for me, a good intraoral picture and history and description might actually even be more helpful than a radiograph in, in many cases. Um, but for a lot of us, it's really hard to take pictures in the horse's mouth because there's a lot of things happening. It's a really dark area, it's really deep, and then the horse can be moving. So there's a few little tricks that we're gonna show here on uh, how easy and how fast it can be to obtain good intro pictures just using any type of smartphone. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing you need is you have to have a really bright light that has a diffuse beam. Some lights have a focus beam and that makes it really hard to get a good generalized picture. Um, and you have to have a really bright light. A speculum light, while it might be convenient, is not really bright enough. Uh, so you need something like this, like it should be hard to look at. Um, and that's step number one. Step number two is you have to have really good sedation. A lot of us, at least when I was in veterinary school and talking to a lot of colleagues, we were not taught how to sedate the horses deep enough. The sedatives we use today are typically very safe on healthy horses especially. And so we can typically use a little bit higher doses. It, you have to communicate to the owner the importance of having a well sedated horses. Nobody really truly likes to see their horse sedated. It's not enjoyable for any, any horse person. But in order to do a good job, the horse has to be sedated anyway. So sometimes sedating them a little deeper than we're taught can actually help you so much because you cannot get good images, you can't get good diagnostics, and you can't do good work on a horse that's moving their tongue, moving their cheeks, moving their body. So don't be afraid to use a little bit more sedation. They're very safe. Um, and you'll get better results. Okay, so the first thing you do is forget about the fact that you're taking a picture for a second. What you wanna do is find the teeth that you want. So here we're taking the number two quadrant and light it up so that every tooth is nice and bright and then hold very still, don't move your head, and then just bring the camera up and boom, you can take a picture. So before you actually do the picture, zoom a little bit, maybe to like about two seems to be a good level 2.2, 2.3. So you pre-zoom. Now I'm gonna do exactly what I did earlier. I'm gonna forget about the fact that I have a camera. I'm gonna find the teeth. I'm gonna hold my head very still. Everything is lit up. And now I can gradually bring my phone up and focus and picture. And make sure that you focus like I'm doing with my thumb and boom, picture. Now we can look at these pictures and see how we have a nice intraoral picture. So that's literally all you need to do is you need to have a good light, good sedation, and then light up the quadrant that you want to take a picture of, zoom on your phone a little ahead of time, and then just bring the camera up and snap a picture and make sure it's focused. And for me, I actually put these in the dental charts. And over the years, I've learned more from my pictures, looking at how the teeth looked over time and, and how the dentistry progressed. I've learned so much from that. So I encourage everybody to take a lot of pictures in the horse's mouth. And it's like anything, the more you do it, the better you get. So practice makes perfect. If you enjoy this video, like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.